In this tutorial, we'll just take a brief look at vertex groups and hair particles. I pointed it out before, but this is kind of similar to the lesson that I just posted a little while ago on uh, vertex groups and particles and how you can paint with weight paint. Well, so we can do the same thing with hair particles. So in case you haven't seen that particular lesson, I'm going to give this a simple particle system real quick. Give a little bit of life like this. And instead of just being regular particles, I'm going to turn them into hair particles. All right, so there's the hair length like that. So I'll just turn that way down for the moment. All right, so that's that's the first step in the process. But all the particles coming out from everywhere, and you know you can control what faces or vertices they emit from based on the vertex groups that you set. So let's go to the vertex groups in the object data button here, and we'll create a group we'll call it hair group and currently there's nothing assigned within the vertex group and we can verify it in weight paint mode like this everything is just solid blue and then if if we had set everything to let's just set some things in here we'll go into edit mode and maybe we'll set it at a weight of I don't know 0.5 whoops 0.5 and assign that and then we'll go into weight paint mode directly with the tab key and you can see it's all green or if we set it to one like that and assign that and tab into weight paint mode then it's all red like that so that tells us how much weight is actually assigned and blue is zero so we'll set it to zero assign it there go into weight paint mode so now if we but now you still see the hair particles are coming out from all faces of the sphere like this. Well, if we go back into hair particle mode and we come down here into the vertex groups like this and we come into this density tab, this is just the way the same way it works when you're emitting particles, but now we'll pick the hair group like that, I just called it, and nothing's showing up out of here. All right, so in this case, we can go into particle mode and let's see, let me bring up the T key. In particle mode, I have options to do things with the particles but we'll go into weight paint mode first change the radius I can press F kind of change the radius down like that I'll do the same thing as I've done before I'll just change the weight down so I'm not painting with the full weight on the surface here and then I'll come over here and I'll just start painting as I'm painting you can see it puts out particles at the location where I'm changing the vertex group here. Let me change the weight a little bit in this location. I'll make a slightly bigger brush like that. So obviously we need more hair particles. Alright, so to do this best bet is to turn the number of particles down. Don't have near as many, but crank up the children, child particles right here make it interpolated like that. And you can see I have a whole boatload of particles in the scene like that. And it's maybe too many. Let's turn that down somewhat like that for this system. And now as I paint, you can see I'm basically painting. Yeah, it's still maybe a little bit too many. But now you can see I'm painting where I want the hair to grow on the surface of the object like that. Uh-huh. It, it works well. And then you can come into particle mode up here and do all kinds of things. We'll just do the basic operation. We'll just comb this hair like this. So it kind of falls like regular hair might fall. And this is well documented stuff. I was just pointing it out in case you're not familiar with it. You can go to the Blender website and look around. They put out DVDs uh, a couple of years ago, I think it was, on um, this type of effect, hair particles modeling from people who are really are good artists. And if you haven't heard from some of my other videos, I'm kind of, I'm not a super great artist by any means. I'm a mediocre artist. My skill set is being a programmer and having math skills. And that's how I take advantage of uh, 3D programs. But I kind of have to be technical to be able to create nice art. But uh, those DVDs, if you find them, they're, those are real artists you know, who are just naturally talented at art and then they're doing some really great fur effects and things like that. So let's go back in the weight paint. There you can see it here. We'll go into object mode like that. And then there's all kinds of other settings you can mess with to make it work. But just pointing it out in case you're not familiar with it and it's powerful and fun. And okay, that's it for this lesson. I'll see you in the next lesson.